What is up, riders? We are heading to Clayton's shop in Cape Town city center, where we're gonna be checking out his BWS, doing an update video, doing some small tweaks, and hopefully gonna ride it. So stay tuned. Hopping on the good old trusty steed. Got my other stage six helmet. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one, but I've got the black one and I've got the orange one. Pretty cool helmet. They don't make them anymore, but nonetheless, let's head out. Cool, arrived at Auto Velvet. We are going to be checking out the Jalera again today and the Bewiz. So let's head inside and do that. Right, here's the BWS, guys. If you remember from the build series, it is in the pop-up above. But today, what we're going to be working on is doing the clutch. So we've really opened up and checked it out. This is the full Delta clutch, fully adjustable. So we'll be changing that out today. And then we are changing the air filter for the stock air box. We've got an air filter here and a new pipe, which we need to install. And we'll get this thing running and do some cool test rides. All right, airbox is on. It's a bit of a mission to get this one completely uh, on easily because it is a stock airbox and then we're running the 22 millimeter carb. So obviously a 19 mil versus 22, your airbox is gonna give you some issues, but we got it on, new airbox is in. What we're gonna do now is adjust the adjustable delta clutch. Right, so to what we use is this modified socket for the clutch nut. Because conventional sockets are rounded with a chamfer, this one we had to cut flat um, to basically use it to take off this very, very thin nut. So it just works quite nicely. What we're going to do now is just adjust this um, with an Allen key so it can bite a little later so we can get the RPMs up. And of course we've got the torsion controller and the torsion spring. If you don't know what this does, this basically creates a barrier between the metal and the spring to stop it from slipping. When you feel that initial slip, you'll feel it in the pull of the drive, which changes your gearing in a sense. So what this does is it allows some twist, hence the name the twist controller, and works very well to do its job. One of the cheapest and easiest mods to do. Okay, so uh, there's the grips. There we go. So you can see there's all the notches. So what we want to do is pull the tension all the way out so that these can flick out. You can see pretty much how they work. They, they, they pretty much just expand and the spring is pulling that in. So if you were to change this, you just change the tension. So we want to go all the way all right, got it all back together. Obviously, you can see now we're right at the end. So we've pulled this back. So what that basically allows is for this to be expanded at a higher RPM, hopefully going to give us more revs, which will give us basically a harder pull. So let's put it all back together and take this thing for a spin. 
So I didn't film it, but I put it all back together. Um, this is quite a terrible run to get back on and off. So two people make it much easier. Or if you have a special tool, which I don't right now, uh, it works way better. So let's put the belt back on and put the drive back together. Ooh, okay, got everything back together. That was a little tough when you don't have all the right tools, but it's on nevertheless. What we're gonna do now is just fit everything back on and take her for a test drive, which I'm super excited about. So let's put the seat box on and let's get going. Sweet, that's it. So a little bit of an update of what we've done right now. Uh, what I haven't told you is we've actually put in some 6.5 gram rollers from the stage six roller kit. Um, so we can mix and match them, but we've basically done that. We've changed the clutch now, uh, put in a new air filter and the hose. Um, so what we're going to do now is just take her outside, take her for a spin and see how this clutch runs. Better. We've also got an update on the Jaleo Runner 180. So we've messed around with the jet and we've gone up to a 160 jet, main jet on this one. Um, we've also got some cool parts coming in the future for this one. So what we're gonna do now is just test ride it because it's been giving us a little bit of electrical problems. So Clayton and I are gonna take this as well as the viewers over there, put on our helmets, hop on and head out. This is looking really good. burnt up to that corner and that black there. Yeah. And in the middle is it did that now with the high heat probably. Yeah, it has. Yeah. I mean the metal's still gonna change the colour underneath. Yeah. How's that uh, sound though? Eh? The thing sounds like an MX bike. Places on the B wheels. Take it for a little spin. Grab my gloves. So when you get to the highway now, yeah. Remember, don't hold it open. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll ride around it. Up and then up and you know, like that. Yeah. Because then when you get to that. On the side yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hop on and I'm gonna do a 10 second hold okay and then I'm gonna do a kill but then by that time you'll be you'll be on the BWS. Cool sounds good I think it hasn't cleaned itself out yet, so... Uh, 
little bogged down. Feels like uh, like it has a lot of fuel. A lot of fuel? Too much? Yeah. Really? But let's see, let's see. Like, it's giving me when it feels flooded vibes. Huh? It, it feels like when it's flooded. You know that feeling when you open it and it's a little bit flooded? Like that. It's not a clean rev. It's like fluttery. Like the carb is full. Okay. It's like bogging down, but then it clears and then it pulls. <laughs> we'll see now. I mean, it, it's you yeah, need to ride it. We'll see now. Oh, and this is just the fuel is uh, the fuel screw. Maybe it's messed up now. <laughs> One full turn in. Yeah. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this thing still flies what? like it's still very nippy yeah the b was is it, it's like i rode a lot of stock ones since riding this one yeah. and this thing feels like how that thing feels for yeah. this you know what i mean <laughs> like this still gives you that that bite yeah, it's so cool. I like it. yeah no i was like, surprised i thought it was going to be dead but no this thing still flies well, That's I've good. run this thing's lip now and it started going a little almost like dying. Oh, is it? Yeah, again. Okay. So, it, but it's better. So now you're gonna have to see now what happened here. I gotta get my finger there to block it. 
it's running it's running rich yeah a bit richer that's a bit richer that's like that's more black than uh more black than uh brown but we're safer we must be safer yeah huh that looks that looks quite dark but that's it's quite good, dry though huh it's quite dry oh yeah yeah it's quite dry let's compare that to the older ones it's almost the same eh? yeah except there it looks a bit wetter but you know why because i was riding in the city okay. so it's going to be a bit wetter in the yes, city yes yes so you think this thing's running, I changed the air screw now, when I open it up, it flips into a wheelie. Okay, mad, mad, that is mad. better, because when mad I rode it, it just kept bogging every robot that we came to, every stop. It just said, and then wean itself clean of all the fuel. Yeah, um, okay. You know, well, but does it feel better, or just that top end now, it was a bit scary that it was dying. Yeah, it went, bah, like it felt like it wanted to, like losing, like it's not getting enough fuel. Yeah. Bro, did you see how this thing pissed off? Yeah, it did. I couldn't even... Yeah, I was doing almost like 150, 160. It stopped wobbling at like 160. Yeah, yeah. It was so fast, if I held it down, I wouldn't have seen you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but now... Yeah. No, no, I mean, it looks fine to me. But now, I don't know what it's doing on the top that it's doing that. It it's could like, be that CDI. It could be. Because now we'll, we'll change the timing with that whole CDI controller. Right. Yeah. And then um, what we do is, uh, I'm just for interest sake, I'm maybe gonna buy like a 162. Just if I do, if I do long, uh, long, long distance, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna ride this bike now. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna open it up and tap it. Or yeah. Open it up. I'm gonna ride it like a race bike. Yeah. At least you can still ride the viewers. Yeah. Now the B was is fun. It's actually you you made it sound like it was uh, gonna feel like a donkey, but it didn't really feel like that. It still it still has a bit of a oomph, you know, which was better that you underhyped it so that when I hopped on it, it felt good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Although yeah, it it just runs away from me, but nonetheless, it still feels good.
it, it feels much better now it's not so like uh over fuel like yeah. when i rode it first it just was spluttering now it feels better yeah it's cleaner the, the rev but uh yeah back from the ride i mean good uh bittersweet news b was is running sweet still need to adjust the clutch maybe we're gonna go stiffer with the springs so let us know in the comments down below for any advice what do you think we should do we want this thing to engage and just wheelie and and be quite nippy off the line like this one is this one we're having some issues with the carb and the jetting uh it seems to be running quite lean on the top end we are going to be doing something cool in the future we're going to be fitting that new cdi box the Melossi electronical box that goes in the front so that'll be in the next couple bids but let us know of what your thoughts are in the comments down below what do you think we should do next what do you think we should do to fix these um all the help is appreciated i know someone helped us out with the drive put in the shim we had a missing shim and that changed the whole bike completely shout out to this person for helping us because that was a huge game changer uh, sometimes we forget things so that was great um it worked well with the stock belt but as soon as we put the lossy belt in it just wasn't fair and uh the person who had this bike before never had that shim in so it's all sorted now but um, again, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you are enjoying this content, consider liking and subscribing. And we'll check you next time. Peace.